Hey. Hello and welcome to Sam's Mortar Training. Uh, today I will be going over the basic functions of the mortar. This is not a replacement for the training that's in the document. Your corrupter will go over various tactics that you can use and uh, etiquette for the mortar but I can cover the basic functions with you in order to get you quickly up to speed and using it. Uh, I will, however, repeat one of the things that's in the document and just say always ask the OIC as to whether or not you can get on a mortar because it's not a force multiplier in every situation and one person being on a mortar means that that person is not actively fighting infantry or taking objectives. Uh, there is a lot of value in even being a distraction for enemy infantry. And uh, being on a mortar will in most cases cause them to be more aggressive, especially when trying to get to your location to silence your guns. Alright, so this is the mortar. Very simple. Well, to a certain extent anyway. Hit C to deploy and undeploy. Notice I'm tapping C constantly here. There is a significant delay as to when you can pack up and redeploy. So keep that in mind. You also cannot fire or reload while you're on the move like this. So keep that in mind. If you expect enemy counterfire, you want to pick up sticks immediately, move to another location, or indoors even. Deploy indoors and uh, wait for a reload before moving to where you want to fire from next. Anyway, uh, this can be fired in mouse look, so I'll cover that first. It will attempt to hit wherever you're aiming. Like so. It's pretty cool, honestly. It's and fairly accurate. So mouse one fires it while you're in mouse look. But normally 99% of your operations will be through alt camming. Now, while you're alt camming, if you press one on a location, it will lock those coordinates give you those coordinates and give you an estimated travel time for the munition. From there, simply hit F and uh, it'll slam into some intervening cover. Well, that gets me into my next point. So this version of the mortar is a significant update from what we had in the past because now we have dynamic height offsets. So by default, it's the target's height plus 10 meters. So that's where the zenith of the mortar round is going to try and go to. So as you can see, because of that intervening obstacle there, we can't get to that location as is. If we hit Q, however, however it opens up a dialog box here. Say, Let's try adding a new height offset. Let's try 50. All right, now we hit F. And that's a little more generous. Let's try 45. We Ideally, we want to just barely clear that antenna. Maybe 35, actually. Yeah, that's much better. And you notice that will make it travel quite a bit faster to its location. This is gone, this update in particular, because it used to try and target 100 meters above the target height, this has cut at least 30% of travel time off the mortar rounds. It's really quite amazing. Okay, so we have a lot of different rounds for the mortar 
each of them have their own reload times. We may eventually get the ability to reload while on the move in order to compensate for specifically egregious uh, reload times. However, there is a reason for those reload times. Or the, in the case of particularly powerful munitions like the toxin gas. Uh, each round type deals 20 AT on a direct hit. Because they are big boy 40 millimeter rounds or whatever. I don't know what the justification for it is. But they do 20 damage on a direct hit. The crack does... 20 extra on the explosion because it's a crack. Uh, not all of these rounds are available by default, but uh, a lot of them are. If your recruiter has not covered, or your corruptor has not covered how to purchase additional war gear with you, you simply click the weapons box and then hit, a, hit the button that says war gear and it will give you a list of available war gear that you can purchase with corruption. If for whatever reason you want to reset the trajectory to its default, you just leave the box there blank and hit submit. Each one of these round types corresponds to a different grenade. The simple airburst one is like our scatter, except it explodes in midair into a cluster of munition. Like so. Obviously, you can't direct hit anything with the shell itself, but uh, the submunitions are pretty useful for clearing out infantry. Okay. Uh, use of the mortar, finally in conjunction with the command HUD is possible. Uh, for any ping, like location ping, that you receive, uh, if you simply click the coordinates of the ping, it will automatically target your mortar to those coordinates. Like so. Say I'm targeted here. And I get a ping back here. All I have to do is click those coordinates and I'm lo now locked on to the new location. There you go. Again, this is not a replacement for the training in the document, but uh, hopefully it's a bit uh, easy and quick to get set up. All right. Thank you for your time.